YouTube, what is going on? Does Brett's app pod help? With a quick video demonstrating a few tweaks you can add to your Safari on your iOS device. And this tweak is $2 in Cydia and it is called Full Screen for Safari. It does add options like full screen, it also adds a few gestures to get around in Safari and on the internet. So uh, it adds some options in your settings, so let's, let's go there, open up this, and scroll down until you see full screen for Safari. And it adds options like two finger swipes, and I have it set to, you can tab back and forward when you swipe left or right with two fingers. You can invert that, you can have it up and down when you swipe up and down with two fingers. And um, so you can just go in here and you can change whatever you want, yada yada. And uh, three finger swipes, so with three fingers you can swipe left or right and you go back and forward is what I have it set to that is on your current tab and one finger tap and short hold and you can have these actions so you can just see all these here so show action pop up I'll show you what that is in a second uh, tab forward tab back tab uh, go forward go back create empty tab go to bookmarks uh, close current tab scroll up scroll down toggle full screen mode reload and open URL along with none so then you can have one finger double tap and short hold, one finger double tap, one finger triple tap, two finger double tap, three finger tap, and shake. So if you shake your device, you can uh, choose their action you want. It's the same actions as what I just said. You can have a sensitivity, so one being the lowest and seven being the highest. And vibration if gesture fails, and obviously you have to have an iPhone for that. Wiggle if gesture fails, I've never seen that happen since I've never bothered to try. And open URL, I'll show you that in a second, along with uh, pop-up theme, and I'll show you what that is in a second as well. So let's open up Safari. And I currently have it on apple.com. And I'll be showing you the action pop-up, so I currently have it set to two finger double tap. So let's do this. And um, so here's your go back, go forward, scroll up, scroll down, uh, tab back, tab forward, new tab, close tab, full screen, bookmark, refresh, and go to URL. And go to URL, that goes to apple.com as the default. You can change that later to whatever you so choose. And let me just show you full screen, since this is what the main application does. So there you go, you get full screen. If you have if you have a larger page, this uh, web page uh, URL thing, it disappears. Uh, so let me see. I'm going to try and get a tab, maybe. Yeah, Excel is is good. So let's do this again. Double tap, full screen. And as soon as this finish loads, loading. So there you go, I got full screen this way and it also works landscape. So I don't have any bars here. So yeah, this is the action menu. You can refresh as well. Yeah, so this is a uh, full screen for Safari. It adds a whole bunch of features and gestures along with full screen. Two bucks from Cydia. Go check it out if you want. And yeah, this has been Brett's iPod Help. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Along with follow me on Twitter at Brett's I Thought Help if you want to keep up with the latest tech news. And I will see you guys later. Peace.